you got your back? Chasing a scooter. Let's watch the scooter on the turns here. There he is. Now watch his ass move as he comes into the corner. He moves his ass over into the corner. Now he'll move his ass over to the other side. There he goes. Yeah, that's it. Lean it in. Keep the bike upright. That's the way you scoot. That's the way you scoot in the bends. I would have done that, you know. I, I would have been happy to buy. Uh, I would have been happy buying a scooter, BMW scooter. BMW scooter is pretty good, pretty comfy. I've ridden one of those. So easy. I'd be happy riding one of those. You know, around town, it's freaking awesome around town. It's so good. And um, and then just go and you can go on rides because it, it's got the speed to go on rides like this, right? It's big enough for that. You can do some touring, but it's no fuss. Just hop on and go, you know. And you can keep your gear simple, nice and basic. I wouldn't have minded that. I think I would have been alright with that. Here we go. Good body movement. You manoeuvres the body to keep it right. Keeping it in line. Alright, back in the easy zone. going on this road? Is it gravelly or is it just me? No, it's just that corner. It's a bit, it's a bit something's happening to that corner. Now yeah, here's a bit dirty. Gravelly. No? Doing some works. Oh, here's a bit gravelly. Right. Just a minor bit of dirt, that's all. Alright. Good. Now, how's my trip going? Tripometer. Well, maybe yes. No, not Dave, yes, but. That one, trip one. I want to see because um, I'm due to change. My, I want to change my tyres at about 25,000 k's, which will be um, which will be 15,000 for these tyres. I've got the Anarchies and the ball. The back one's getting a bit a bit down, a bit bald, and I'm getting close to 15. And then um, I'm going to run the back one as as much as I can, which is probably 15, yeah. I like to keep it to an even number. With my tyres, I just run it to an even number. So with the TK C80s, Continentals, I ran them down to, um, I ran them to 10,000. And, and that's pretty good for a, a dirt, dirt tyre for, for those TKs. Now with the TKs, what happens with them is the the first bit of rubber will come off quite quickly but as you get 
as you wear the tire down and you get towards the um, the rubber underneath, uh, you'll find that it takes longer to wear, so the the rubber's harder. So um, yeah, it lasts it lasts a bit longer as it wears. It takes longer to wear down as you get to the end of the wear on the TKC80s. It gets harder, which is clever because you got the you have the ideal compound on the surface and then as the tyre becomes old it gets harder to hold on like just think if you're going on a long ride um, the tyre won't just shred as you get through the top soft bit of the top layer of the tyre it gets harder and wears longer and so you'll be able to ride the tyre out for quite a while without it shredding or, or, or falling apart on you you see um, that's really clever and now I've got the Anarchies and they, they did 10,000 easily so I thought ah I'll keep going and I'll head for 15 but yeah the back's getting a bit a bit flat but because most of my stuff's in the city it's the only bit that's really getting flat is the middle bit the side bits are actually still quite there still all right so it's no big deal about that but I think 15 will do and what I when I change my tires I like to change both front and back and I like to try a different set a different kind of tire so I did TKC80s Continentals now I'm doing the Anarchies I think I'll go back to the Continentals and try the 70s TKC 70s I hear they're, they're not too bad um, or I might try the the Anarchy variation which is more dirt variant of the Anarchy. I heard there's one of those. I might try that. I know the Anarchy is pretty good all around um, for dirt and road. It handles really well. So I might give that a blast. So 23842. So I've got another 1200 k's to do and then I'll look at changing over to a new set and hopefully run that new set another 15,000 k's hmm nice vista thing about this um, tinted visor on my helmet you can pull it up or down so if you get into the trees you can pull it up and if you get out of the trees you can put it down great and all the flick of the thumb you know so cool all right now watch the scooter go he's doing the turns let's get close let you watch the scooter a bit Let me in. Well, there he goes. Knee out. Moving the weight. I'm doing the same. Move my weight. Keep the bike upright and just move your weight. There we go. Bike upright. Just move your weight. So move your ass over and leave the bike straight. Just adjust my sleeve. the weight over, move the bike upright. That's your option, dip the bike or dip your body. Dip the bike and keep your body upright or dip the body and keep your bike upright. The safer one I reckon is dip your body and keep the bike upright on this kind of surface you, but you don't want to do that on the dirt surface on the dirt surface you actually want to um, tip the bike and keep your body upright and sent it over the top and you're looking for um, you're looking for when the bike loses traction so you can then pivot it back pivot back into balance That's the whole thing. So 
because you're not tilting, you're tilting the bike. If the bike does slip, you're in a position to bring the bike back upright. You've got leverage. Whereas if, whereas if you're hanging off the bike on the dirt and the bike skids out from under you, well, you're down because <laughs> there's no leverage. You can't bring the bike up because you're leaning over it. <laughs> you're leaning into the corner, you say. So that's, that's the different riding techniques. If you know you're not going to slide, to move your body. If you know there's a chance you might slide, um, then tilt the bike, you say. Oh, I like this. Nice scenery. Set today. Some triumphs and Kurosakis. Another one. to go so yeah if you're thinking of like a, just a bike around town and something that you can then use at and about occasionally I recommend this BMW scooter van it is I've ridden that and it is awesome it's for around town it's just perfect and it it'll beat anything off the lights from 0 to 60 no worries so you don't have to worry about fast cars and that sort of stuff running you down um, it's easy to hop on and off with any kind of shoes like just in your suit or whatever um, and if you're in your suit you can get one of those rain covers to cover your body um, if it lightly rains um, yeah you know it's just great probably just need uh, the storage under the seat so you can do your shopping and chuck things under the seat uh, if you need extra storage, you chuck a big box on the back, which is fine. Yeah, good things. Oh, good. Well done. Look at that, eh? 